Hi audience. Hi audience. Hi audience. Hi audience. Hi audience. This. 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 Okay. So fourth episode of you talk here you know you can see we've totally revamped the beginning all right we've just remodeled it and redone it redid it and uh and i'm also gonna like write a little i'm not gonna write a script anymore like i said but i'm i'm writing little sticky notes and little little like bullet points of what to talk about so i'm like more focused because looking back at my old videos i'm not that focused which meh, not that good you know so i've revamped it put an intro trying to make it better Doing all that kind of stuff, right? Oh, uh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, camera, I am in my uh, grandparents' new home. They moved. That's where I am right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, what I want to talk about this episode is I didn't talk enough about my belief last time. It wasn't enough. Um... You know, all I said was I, I was a Unitarian Universalist. And, you know, that's cool. But I didn't really talk about what I believe. Now, if you watch that episode, you can kind of get that I, I'm a humanitarian. That I believe in uh, the betterment of society. That I should be working towards helping people, connecting people, stuff like that. And also the, my goal for self-realization uh, and uh, truth through spirituality and things like that, you know? But that doesn't really tell what I, what I actually think. Like, do I believe in God? Do I do this, 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 this? Um, <clears throat> sorry. I, I don't, for the God bit, I don't believe in a man or a woman up in the sky deciding our fate. If, if there is one up there, I can't comprehend how he could exist without the world being a better place than it is. You know, a nicer place. So there's too much bad going on for me to think that there's some morally right guy up there. Not that I can't understand why people believe in it, but I just don't. No problem there. You know, I, I don't see a problem there. So I don't believe in that. I don't believe in a God up there, or heaven, or especially, I really don't believe in hell. <laughs> because I don't think anyone is necessarily evil. So, I don't, you know, cosmic morals aren't a, aren't a big thing for me. Um... Basically, what I believe is kind of like a transcendentalist view on things, where I think that, uh, this is a bit, bit hard to explain, and, and I haven't, I'm not done growing, I'm not done learning, so I haven't really gotten a, a complete picture of it yet, but, you know, it's, I'm thinking it's close to what I believe. Uh, basically, we evolved, and whatever happened to Big Bang... I don't, I don't want to talk about that, because it doesn't make sense physic, in physics yet, and it doesn't make sense in religion yet to me, so none of it makes sense, so I don't care. I'll, I'll figure it out when it comes, when I get some more evidence. But, um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so, but we evolved. I do believe in evolution, so I think we evolved, and there was animals, and there was our planet, and all that. It's kind of like a heartbeat. Everything's interconnected. That's the transcendentalist part. There's a little bit of Taoism in there, um, or, or Taoism, but I, I believe it's pronounced Taoism in the actual culture, uh, Chinese. Um, uh, it's like a heartbeat. We're all connected, and we all evolved together. We all are, are this bloodstream of life on Earth. We're all like part of this big system, and, and we're all, you know, that, that would be our, our spirit or whatever, like our spirit. It's all interconnected on the planet in a big natural heartbeat, okay? And then human beings, about, ooh, I wanna say 13,000, but I feel like I'm wrong. Anyway, caveman, we started thinking and doing things and imagining things that nobody had ever done yet. And uh, so, so we started doing that kind of stuff, and that created a, a higher thinking. That, that from the heartbeat, the earth, we made a web around it, kind of like the internet, except with our minds, radio waves going out. So like our, ra our, our minds, they transmit whatever they transmit, pulses, and there's like a web of thought around the planet. 
And that has given us something else. That's given us a greater in-depth understanding of things. So, and we're all connected in that way. Just the humans, not the animals. Animals are just still the heartbeat. We're still connected to them by heart. But in mind, we are ourselves, one being. And, uh, and that would be kind of like uh, all the humans put together is like a god. That would be my only understanding of god. Which means when you die, your thought, the little bit that fractures off from you after you're dead, all your consciousness gets like shattered from the impact of death. And a little bit fractures off and splits off and goes up into this web. And then it like floats about and you live in whatever bliss you thought of when you were dying. You know, I imagine myself like sitting under a tree and just sitting. And you're not like thinking of things. You're not trying to figure out the meaning of life anymore. Because you're only like this tiny little morsel. You're just like an animal. You're just floating through the heartbeat. So you're part of the bloodstream again. And, and you, just, you just exist in your little universe of nothing in your head or what's left of your imagination. And that floats about. And animals can't really do this exact. Well, no, maybe they can. I don't, you know, this, this is all growing. We'll figure it out. So, anyway, you're flown about and you hit the right pocket of thought of this web. Um, and it's reinforced by the heartbeat. And that's how you can be reborn. As anything, really. And then what's left of you from many years from your regeneration is a little tiny fragment. And you live through that, and that's that. The, that little bit of you is left. But it's not that big, so we don't remember it. It's not it doesn't make too much of a personality. So, yeah. Um, uh, that's, that's pretty Hi. much it. I also I also believe in in uh, prophets. I do believe in things that can connect more deeply with that being. And I also believe in you know smart people, people that say, hey, do this and this and this. These are good things. Those are them. And so Jesus and Buddha and Baha'u'llah, Baha'u'llah would be under those, and so would Muhammad and all the other prophets. I mean, <laughs> I you know Einstein would almost be right in there because he's got new ideas, he's showing us the new way of looking at things, you know. He didn't really come with morals or anything, or about humanity, which is kind of how I see prophets more, or avatars, or whatever you want to call them. That's how I see it. So we're all part of a oneness and all that. Now one thing I was thinking is, is I used to believe in karma, but as far as I can understand it, I don't know how karma would have anything to do with the universe, or anything like that. So, I think that's how we're going to wrap up this episode. Like I said, I mean, I believe, definitely believe in the teachers, believe in the teachings of Jesus, believe in the teachings of Buddha and all those other guys. They're great. Gandhi, is a, I, I've said this before, but definitely believe in his teachings. I do believe in rebirth through this heartbeat and this oneness of us. And, you know, maybe we're all part of this oneness and we're all God together. That's how I kind of see it. That maybe all this put together with, like, this new found soul or spirituality or whatever we're all connected to, we can shape reality around us now, which is a little bit trippy, kind of smoke pot related, but, you know, maybe. And maybe one day we'll all realize this and we become, and we become God and we create, maybe we start the Big Bang. I mean, that's getting a little too far though. Really, it's about right now, the present moment, right, yeah. present moment, that's how it goes. Right. So I gotta go and, uh, it was good talking to you guys again. I hope you like the redone beginning and all that stuff. And I hope, I hope this continues rolling. Put in the comments what you believe. That would be great. And, uh, of course, subscribe to When You Want to Cry. That's, yeah, that's a great thing to do. So, see you guys later. Peace.